you are under the age of 18 and you are watching this video, please stop now. This content is not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am creating some more Happy Mail. Um, I am a believer of Happy Mail and Thank You Mail. Um, it just helps to uh, encourage people. It might brighten someone's day. It helps the mood around here. So um, I am going to send out some Happy Mail to some people and I wanted to record it to uh, share with you guys because maybe you want to do the same thing, have the same little idea. You don't have to have like a big come pack a swap with me where it's loaded with a bunch of things. Um, sometimes a card and a handmade embellishment or a card will work and brighten someone's day. So I have recently sent out two happy mails and both of the recipients have received them. And I am um, so thankful of their thankful, thankful messages that were back. So it really meant a lot to me. It's better for me to give and hear the feedback of you being appreciative than me getting something. Like, I like that feeling better. So, um, anyway, moving on. We're going to make some uh, sequence mixes. Well, I already made the sequence mixes. I'm going to package it all up with you guys. But we're also going to make these cute little <laughs> sequence dip spoons to use to sequence your stuff. Or to use to scoop up your sequence. And a while ago on, on, I don't even know what video it was. I had asked if you guys know where I can get these tiny little spoons. Hold on, let me show you my inspiration. So I got this spoon in something. A swap, a rack, a hostess gift. I don't remember who gave it to me. I've always kept it because I've always loved it. It's an aqua colored spoon. Tiny spoon with a huge hole in it. And a big eyelet I mean a big jump ring like I just love it. it has a little swan charm and a little dangle probably handmade I'm not sure but in a video I said if you guys know where I can get these tiny little spoons I didn't want the spoons from the Dollar Tree those long silver ones I didn't want those I wanted these and somebody provided a link to where I can get them so I will find that link and give it to you guys um, but what I did was I took the said spoons and I painted like six of them in uh, spray paint and then I sealed it with a matte sealer and that's all in gold. I have yet to do the mint and the pink but this is what I've done so far. I even masked off the bottom to do like half white, half gold. I bought only white spoons. They had color spoons but I bought the white ones. I can paint them myself. I have tons of spray paint. So um, I did quite a few in those and then I drilled a hole in mine um, but I realized later I didn't have to drill a hole. I just didn't want to crack the spoons. I could just use my little bottle cap hole punch thing and it worked just as, just as well. So I pre-drilled these. These are all set to go. So I'll be making more or using these and maybe when I do swaps again, sending these as a, like a little gift because these are so adorable. They're quick and easy to make and I have a disclaimer. I am not a charm maker whatsoever so I actually don't like to make them but these are just too cute not to do so let me show you the three that I've made I've already prepped the rest of how they're going to package and we're going to finish that all here here today so this is the first one I think is so adorable let me see if I can <laughs> it's so cute I have a little fluffy all the stuff I got um well the beads I got from uh, Michaels but this came from online from Auntie Allie I have a, the cutest little bird flower charm there and then this little flower charm. I used these on the back of a pencil DIY charm pencil that I did uh, a while ago. So I'll link that below too, but I had some leftover from that. So I made this one with the half gold dipped. I think it's so cute. Um, and then this one, I got these unicorns from Hobby Lobby. These tiny little unicorns. I don't even know if you can see them or not. But they're cute little unicorns. Hopefully I'll have pictures up that you, where you can see this um, better. But so I have them on jump rings. And then I made a little dangle here. And then of course the flower charm. And then this one has an aqua colored uh, glass bead, a bird, and then that flower charm again. So super cute. I have four of these little flower things left. So I'll be making charms with the other spoons, but they won't have flowers on it. And then you can just use this, just a cute little thing to just, you know, mix up your, your sequence mix as you're dipping it to have it on hand. I obviously like mine or love mine because I've kept it for a while. 
So, and I do use it to mix up my little sequins. So what better to go with these cute little spoons than to pack up some sequins? So, and this is a very inexpensive um, thank you or gift idea. So a lot of these things I got from the Dollar Tree or Auntie Alley for super cheap, online for super cheap. So uh, really inexpensive. Now these are the sequence mixes that I have created. I have um, just going to give a set of three. The jars come from the Dollar Tree. I did a haul on these a while ago, and these come with seven. So if you're doing three, you already got two right there. It's one dollar spent, and then the sequence, each of the sequence were a dollar or the shaker mixes. So, I mean, if just to make the sequence shaker mix, if you didn't even want to do the spoon, um, you can make these sets. It's a dollar for the jars, you get seven. One, two, three dollars for each of the sequins. We're at four dollars right now, and you can make um, two, depending on how many you put in there. You already got your two sets. So, um, they also, I also had the bigger jars. If you wanted to do the bigger jars, these again, at the Dollar Tree, there's um, small ones, if you want to do small chunky ones. So, yeah, these are all there. You know, like I said, pack them up with your sequins, your favorite, even your mix flat back pearls, pearls, whatever you want to put in here and send it. So really cool idea. So to fill these jars, I use this sequence uh, mix, sequence mix that came from the Target Dollar Spot. That's a dollar. And then this uh, Crafter Square, that's from the Dollar Tree. I One of these squares fill one of these jars. And then I use this tube confetti and you get three of these options. I mean, obviously I had so much left over still, but this is really co cool to put in your project. So um, that's what I used to fill up my jars. So now we're going to make the last one um, together. And this is from Michael's. I also have my glass beads in here. This is a Michael's beads situation. I have some uh, little bitty uh, spacers. I have some pens. This is that flea market, um, or for Paper Studio, flea market fancy. So I got those unicorns for that unicorn from. Um, it was 40% off when I got this. So that's on one of these charms here. I don't know which one of them. Here it is. Cute. It just dangles really cute. So anyway, I'm not going to make the unicorn today. I'm going to go ahead and use this, uh, the, not the rest of these, but just use one of these. And again, these came from somewhere on AliExpress. You can also use some garment pins to hang on your to hang on your spoon if you don't have jump rings. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the spoon together. Now I'm going to use a white spoon for this and then this is that bottle cap uh, you can make a hole in your bottle caps and I got this a while ago from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to just punch my little hole right in there done deal right I just kind of got it over to the end so it'll be easier for me to put my jump rings through again my disclaimer is I don't make charms I don't like to make them I don't make them very well but I attempt so I keep I keep trying evidently I want to try to learn it I don't know what the tools are I have this it's, it's a round this is like a flat, this is a flatter, flatter head. This is like a needle nose. Um, so I'm just gonna grab this jump ring. So I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna put it on the spoon. I put two jump rings on the spoon because I don't want them to be flopping around. So the first jump ring actually just goes on there to hold the connecting jump ring because this is like going to be super tight um, because I want it to lean on the side that I want it to lean on and stay there so it doesn't just move all around and be in the way when the recipient is trying to you know scoop sequence so I just made that super tight like it's on there super tight tight against the spoon and then um, so I connect that jump ring this jump ring is going to go for that and then we're going to make a quick little bead uh, I'm going to do one in this pink so I'm gonna grab one pink bead <laughs> and then one of these eye pins and two of these uh, spacers or pearls or what have you 
I'm using them as spacers. I'm scared most times of of this getting out. So I think I opened up the bag just at a corner. Here, there it is. As soon as I start to move these things around, they just fly. Look, look at that. It's gone on, it's gone on away. It's trying to run away. So I'm gonna take my pen and then I'm gonna put the spacer on, then the bead on, and then finish up with the spacer. I'm going to do like a little finger width and use these to cut off the extra and then use the roller tool here to roll that down to tighten that so that the bead doesn't move and then I'm going to put I put that there because that's going to be another uh, jump ring all right so I'm going to use this last little flower that I have and that's it so I'm going to Put the flower on first that's going to go in the middle with the jump ring and get it off that last little jump ring that I've attached and then I'm going to close it and I don't want it to fall out so I'm going to close it super tight and then I'm going to grab this cute little charm here and I'm going to put that in front of the flower because I kind of want that to be seen from the side because the flower is large. And this will connect to the little bead that we made. And I'm going to put it on the other side. So it's flower in the middle, charm, and then my little bead situation. And I want that to be nice and snug. Okay. And there we have it. It's so adorable. I just love it. I love it. It's just too cute. All right, so we can put this stuff away and we can work on the packaging for these items. All right, so this is how we're gonna package it up. Gonna make like a cute little matchbox situation. So cut one sheet of paper down to eight and a quarter by three, and then cut another sheet of paper down to four and a half by two and three quarters. Grab your scoreboard. And we're gonna take the longer piece, and on the eight and a quarter inch side, we're gonna score at three quarters, three and three quarters, four and a half, and seven and a half. We're gonna take the smaller piece and on the four and a half inch side, we're gonna score at three quarters and three and three quarters. We're gonna flip it to the other side. We're gonna score at three quarters, one and a half, and two and a quarter. All right, we're gonna fold over all of our score marks and give them a nice crease on all of them, on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Fold over everything nice and hard. Okay, going back to this smaller piece here. What we're going to do is hold it lengthwise so that this is going across as two and three quarters. And down here at the score mark, we're just gonna slit, slit it. So on the score mark to the score mark, one time, two time, three time, and then cut out that last one, which is the smaller one. This is the small little end that should be about, I think that's a half an inch. So we're gonna cut the smaller end out. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna, on the score mark, to the score mark, on the score mark, to the score mark, on the score mark, to the score mark for the small one, and cut it out. All right, so we should have this. So we're gonna take some uh, tape on this little part here. And we're gonna tape that down. Just get that on out the way. Tape it down, fold it over. 
All right. So then we left with these three flaps. We're just going to, I'm going to miter these at a little angle on the end. So miter that one, come over, miter that one, flip it to the other side. We're going from right to left, and then we're going down on the opposite side. This is gonna fold over into a little box. I like to leave for this, leave the middle flap down we're gonna close these two flaps together and join them right at the tips. So when you fold it, put a little glue here, you're gonna fold it and they should match up. That end should match up to the opposite end. Don't go past and squeeze it in or don't go short. Literally just match it up. So got the glue down. I'm gonna fold this end over to match up and press that down. And then I'm gonna add glue here to close that up. All right, fold that up just like that. You have a nice, neat end, and I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the other side. All right, now we should have a little box. All right, so set that down. And then we have this that's scored over, so it's gonna fit, the box is gonna fit right at this bottom ledge, just like so, we're gonna glue that down, and then you'll have uh, it curl over. Now you can feel free to put a magnet there, a thin piece of Velcro, um, but the measurements are meant just as so, so you'll have to account for that a little bit. I'm just going to add some repositionable, a repositionable glue dot at the bottom or a little piece of ATG tape to close that up. I don't think the recipient wants to reuse this. So they may, I don't know. Um, so what we're going to do now is just fill in the spaces with pattern paper. This, these squares are three by three and this is uh, three by three quarters or three quarters by three. So fill in your spaces accordingly every one of my pieces are an eighth of an inch smaller than the box. So for the three quarter inch by three pieces, you need six of these to fill in yours as I've done mine. And then you'll need four, one, two, three, four of the three by three squares. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. Uh, we're only doing the bottom here, and then we're doing one, two, three, four, and then one on the box. So one on the box, that's your six. One on the front of the box, that's gonna sit like that. One at the bottom underneath the flap. You don't have to do the rest. And then one, two, three, four. So, all right, all done. So the blank piece should be down at the bottom. We're gonna add glue to the bottom of this box, hot glue. Or feel free to use wet glue if you'd like to wait. <laughs> So I put that on there and then I just close it up a little bit just so I can make sure it lines up accordingly. So that's on attached to the bottom like that. Now I'm just gonna add some glue to the back here so it can attach to the wall. So now that's attached. See how cute that is? And these little squares on the side are three quarter square. So I've already cut down my pieces a little bit smaller just to coincide with the rest of the um, rim perimeter we have on here and I just added some hot glue to that A little square on the side done and done so now we want to cut out a little strip that is three quarter um, so it's three quarter this box is three by three quarters I cut it out a, a tad smaller so it can fit easily inside the box this is where we're going to add our um, little sequin here okay and I'm going to use these adhesive dots from the Dollar Tree all right and I'm going to take it off and I'm going to add one dot to the bottom of each of these jars so that they can stay I want them to be spaced out a bit so I'm going to take this strip and um, I'm going to add it just so it can just have a little bit more weight. I'm going to add it to the box, but first I'm going to add my little jars to this. Boom. So that's how that's on there. You want to make sure that's on there nice and tight. Put your little cork down if you have a cork. And look, that's a magical adhesive. I can hold that upside down. It's not going anywhere. 
So now I'm going to add some hot glue to this and add it to the bottom of the box. Suppose you can add the, the paper in there first and then add the dots. Totally up, you know, totally up to you. So that's All right. And then what I'm going to do is take one of my spoons. Ah, I love it. And I'm going to add two dots to the spoon so that they can stay. You can it'll be super cute hanging off like a little charm. I'm going to add one there and one at the bottom so it can stay nice and straight. Oh. And that's going to go right there and right there. Ah, so cute. And I'm going to add just a little bit of ATG tape right there to close it at the top. Thing. All right, and then I'm going to add a little dot to close the box at the top up here. Like I said, you can add a Velcro or ribbon or what have you. Line that up perfectly. Seal that deal. Ah, it's so adorable. I love it so much super cute so now I'm just going to add some little decorations to the front my packaging and packaging is super thin so I don't want to put too much bulk up here so I have a little uh, ephemera card from the snow and cocoa collection which I've been using this whole time I put some little bitty dimensional the word snow on here and that's going to go like that I'm going to add some tape to the back And like I said, I don't want this to be um, very dimensional, two dimensional. I'm already have some, but I need I need it to not be super chunky. And then I'm going to add this already em embellishment that I had already. All right. Add some hot glue to that. That's going to go right on the top. And I have this little bowl which was made by I think Ariel the glam glam shop. And I'm going to put that, all of them have a little bow, so I wanted to make sure that I put a little bow on this one too. And that's what we have. How adorable. Let me um, put the spoons on the other boxes. So this is one box with a cute little rosette on there. There's a little bow. And I'm going to add my tape to the spoons. Here's a third one. How cute is that? And here's the last one. There we go. So they are all done. So now I'm just going to package them up with some embellishments that I made. So I have these Dollar Tree little uh, bags with sequin stars on them. They are just so adorable. And it's vinyl with uh, sequin stars on here. Right? And it'll go perfectly... Um, in the mail because it's uh it's going to be just a nice neat package not super bulky and what i'm going to do is put one of the spoon sequin boxes in here like so and then i have some um, rosettes that i made out of the snow and cocoa paper a set of rosettes are going to go in here. I want to add a little bit of snow. Yay! To the mix. Have a nice snowy day in there. How stinking cute is this? Nice profile. Pack that up in an envelope and we're ready to go. Snow everywhere. So I have the next one. Oh, there's the sequence mix I was looking for. Snow is better anyway. So this one I'll put in here. And I'm gonna send these homemade little tie charms. Super cute. Maggie Holmes dupe. They're gonna fit in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of snow. Zip it up. Alright, we have this one here. Super cute and expensive. I mean, most of these items you see I got from the Dollar Tree. 
I got some handmade flowers that I used that I made using a punch and some stickles. That's going to go in here. We're going to add our fun snowflakes. Oops, let's slide this down. These purses, these little vinyl things have been in a bag, so they're kind of tight. And then this one, I maybe should have threw them in the dryer. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this, this little gem in there. And then I have these rosettes that I made. They're going to go in here. Finish up with some fun. And there we go. Really quick and easy little boxes or little bags of love. A lot of items that we can send that we can make using things we already have at home or can easily attain from um, Dollar Tree or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about this. Leave a comment um, down below and please like and share this video. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification. Notification. Hit that notification button, y'all, please. I can't even get it right. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.